Are there really any differences between Weller Foolproof and Weller Special Reserve? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we are going to do episode number two of our deep dive into distilleries. Today, we're gonna to do episode number two in Buffalo Trace, and we're gonna deep dive into their Wheated Bourbon Mash Bill, which is the Weller Profile. And we've got four of the Weller lineup bottles on the bar top today. We've got the Weller Special Reserve, Weller 12 Year, Weller Antique 107, and the Weller Full Proof. You guys are probably asking yourselves, why don't I have the Weller CYPB and the Weller Single Barrel on the bar top? Well, for me, those are absolutely impossible to find. And I know a couple of you guys are saying to yourselves, these are all impossible for you to find. I'm not doing this to gloat. I'm not doing this to make you feel like you need to have all four of these bottles. Why I'm doing this is because if you follow my palette and you enjoy what I have to offer from my palette and reviews, if you come across one of these bottles, say in a raffle or in a trade opportunity, and you have the opportunity to pick up one of these bottles, and I'm doing this to give you insight on what these bottles have to offer and the nuances in between each and every one of them. Now, is there going to be a big difference between the Weller Special Reserve and the Weller Foolproof? We're gonna find that out today because this is, you know, I got this bottle for $60. I got the Weller Foolproof in a trade for roughly $90. So you got a, a couple of dollar difference in these bottles, right? But the Weller Foolproof I know is like a $60, $65 bottle at retail. The Weller Special Reserve is something that should be coming in at I think $25, $30. The Antique 107 is like a $45, $50 bottle and the Weller 12 year is supposedly a $30, $35 bottle. Now, do we see these bottles for those prices? No. And you guys made sure to let me know in the previous video that you guys don't see these bottles for those prices. I never I never meant to make you think that you should be seeing those bottles for those prices. Now, should you be seeing those bottles for those prices? I think so, but our store is doing that for us? Absolutely not. So without further ado, let's start all the way to our left, which is the Weller Special Reserve. This is going to be their baseline bottle of bourbon coming in at 90 proof, and it's the cheapest out of the bunch. So let's dive into the nose. I've talked crap about this bottle before, but is it worth the money that you can get for it at MSRP? Let's find out. The nose is super sweet, lots of vanilla. I get a little earthy tone that comes off of the nose. But overall, the nose is a very nice, easy, approachable nose. Let's get into the palate. The palate is sweet. It's very, very easy to get into and find those very, very sweet, easy, approachable notes that come through on a weeded bourbon. I love weeded bourbon so much, and these Weller profiles are right up my alley, and I think that they're right up a lot of your alleys as well. And you get a lot of sweet caramel, a lot. It's got a little tiny touch of like a candied almond almost in there as well. I get a little nuttiness, nothing too abstract like um, a, a, a Jim Beam product, but a little tiny touch of a nutty profile that comes off of the Weller Special Reserve. And just like I said in the last video, after your first sip, you're acclimated to that proof that that 90 proof bottle of bourbon has to offer. Your palate is 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 not going to be, oh my god, what is coming, what is hitting my tongue? And you can find a little bit more nuance in that sip, right? A little bit more cherry comes through. There's a little bit more grain profile. You find those nuances and those grains that that bottle of bourbon has to offer. But at 90 proof, you're not going to get a lot. The, sh the finish is very, very short. Doesn't really have a big blast of flavor, but it is sweet and it is a very, very easy approachable bourbon that if you could find all the time for $30, $35, I wouldn't hesitate to buy all the time because it would be an absolute crushable bottle of bourbon. You can't find that in Jersey for under 70 bucks, which is an absolute shame because, you know, I talk crap about the bottle all the time, but for the price that it should be at, it's not a bad bourbon. That right there is the Weller Special Reserve, a very nice, easy, crushable bourbon that you can't go wrong with. Let's move into number two, and that is going to be the other 90 proof screw cap bottle out of the Weller lineup. That is the Weller 12 year. Again, another 90 proof bottle. 
a little bit higher in the price, a little bit higher in the age statement. Does that age statement actually do something comparative to what the special reserve can do? You know, speculation is that this is like eight to nine years. So this would be four, three to four years older than that. And let's find out on the nose comparative to what the special reserve has to offer if there's anything different. And off of the nose immediately, it's got a little bit more of an oaky presence. I'm getting a little bit more of a dark fruit. It is definitely, definitely, definitely punchier. A little bit more of a rich vanilla comes through. And it is a very, I think that this nose comparative to the special reserve is much better. Cherries, a, a, a touch of an espresso bean that comes through, but you're finding a little bit more of that oaky presence that just brings a little bit more of a, a toned down effect, but amplifies some of those other uh, softer notes like that espresso, a little touch of chocolate, a little bit more rich vanilla comes through. And I like that nose a little bit more than the Special Reserve. So let's get into the palette. And the one thing that I always find off of Weller 12 here is a strawberry shortcake. And it is so upfront and prevalent that I, I always, always love this bottle of Weller 12 years so freaking much. And there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's got a short finish, obviously 90 proof, nothing's going to be absolutely um, the longest finish in the world compared to possibly what this Weller Full Proof has to offer. But it's a little bit longer in the finish than the Weller Special Reserve. It has a little bit more of a sweet effect that comes over. You get a little bit more oak, a little bit more richness. The creaminess is a little bit more there compared to what the Special Reserve had to offer. Let's get back into sip number two. And sip number two is just as beautiful as sip number one. Sweet, a touch of oak comes through, a little bit more creamy on that mouth feel, a little bit more viscous, makes your mouth pucker up a little bit more. It's a little bit drier and makes you wanna go back in for another sip. I think that that's a little bit better than the Special Reserve. So if you were in a situation where you had the opportunity to purchase one of these two, I'll go with the Weller 12 year. Let's get into bottle number three, and that is going to be the Weller Antique 107. Now, the Weller Antique 107 is coming in at 107 proof. Again, this is speculated to be a eight to nine year aged bourbon. It's their weed and mash bill, just like I said for the last two. There's nothing has changed in these. I love that nose. A little bit more proof. These, this has 17 more proof points on it, and you get that on the nose. A lot more sweetness comes through, a little bit of honey, a little bit more of like a, a, a creme brulee in a way comes through. A little bit more of a musty note comes on this. It's got so much more to offer with that just amplified through the proof that is just so, so nice. Oh man, that is so, so nice. The nose is so sweet and so complex. Let's get in the palate. And it hits you immediately the difference from the Weller Antique 107 to these two on the left. The immediate just grabbing of your tongue taste buds wraps them up, gives them a hug, and clings onto them and does not want to let go. It makes your tongue salivate so, so quickly and so heavily because of those extra proof points, but it, it's so sweet. There's no bitterness. It's such an easy, enjoyable sip. It's sweet, it's caramel. A little bit more of that oak comes through because of the extra proof points. I'm getting a little bit more of a cherry note, whereas in the Weller 12, I was getting that strawberry shortcake. This is a little bit more dark, a little more deep, a little bit more denser and rich. And the creamy viscosity aspect of that mouthfeel just puts this one leaps and bounds over these two. But we've got one more Weller to get into. That's going to be one of my absolute favorite bottles right now, and that is the Weller Full Proof, coming in at 114 proof. And if you're not aware of what Full Proof is, let me, let me break that down for you a little bit, right? It's not barrel proof. Full Proof is when a the spirit enters the barrel. What is the proof of that barrel at that entrance point? 
and they put the Weller in the barrel at 114 proof. Now, through the aging process, um, a lot of the times the water will evaporate out of that barrel, raising the proof. And that's where you get the barrel proof but William LaRue Weller. They keep that at barrel proof. What they do with the full proof though, is they add a little bit of water from that barrel to bring it back down to 114 proof, which is that full proof proof, which is 114 proof. And they do the same thing for 1792 full proof, which is 125 proof and other full proof offerings. So full proof is a little bit different than barrel proof, but you are still getting a barrel entry proof, which is what the BEP for the maker's mark was. You see where I'm getting at this? They use a lot of terms in these um, uh, to make things sound a little bit different and better than something else. But nonetheless, well, or full proof. Here we go, 114 proof bottle of bourbon out of Buffalo Trace. I don't think there's gonna be anything wrong with this. I don't know if anybody has ever not liked this. Let's get into the nose. A lot of the same things, a lot of the same characteristics in the, my left hand is the Weller Antique 107 and my right is the foolproof. Uh, uh, this one is just utmost the sweetest. I get a little bit of apple coming off of it. Apple skins, a little bit of cinnamon, but that cherry note is deeper and richer. Not as oaky, Almost a little bit more medicinal on the nose compared to the Weller Antique 107. It's a little bit different. I love that nose and every single time I open that bottle of bourbon right there, it just opens up and fills the room. And I've said it multiple times on the channel before, it is something that I, I don't experience a lot out of um, many other bottles, but the Weller Foolproof just opens up and fills the room with just this really, really nice aromatic sweetness. Let's get to the palate. They talk about full-bodied wines all the time. That is a full-bodied bourbon. From initial sip through mid-palate all the way into the finish, it gives you a full experience and it is something that I wish everybody could experience because it is so darn delicious. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that sip. But this is so creamy, so sweet, so inviting at 114 proof. It's something that is unnatural compared to what the other three are. Now the Weller Antique 107 is absolutely delicious, but if you put all four of these in front of me, I'm going with blue foolproof any day of the week no matter what the situation is, whether or not I need a little sip to just get the taste or I need a full pour, it's gonna be the full proof. It just blows up from one to two to three to four. You get an experience, you get a little bit more of an experience, you get a, uh, a nice ride here at the Antique 107, but if you're looking for a full bodied experience, you're gonna go with the Weller Full Proof and there is nothing wrong with all four of these, but if you're in a situation where you can only buy one out of the four, my go-to and my recommendation is going to be the Weller Foolproof. And I personally don't think anybody else is going to say to go with any other bottle of Weller. Um, I, even though the CYPB is, I think that's 98 proof and the single barrel is 96 proof, they're good. I've had pours out of both of those, but I, I think that those are just the stigma and the shock and awe of those bottles. But these two right here are just, in my opinion, leaps and bounds better than those two. So those would be the two bottles that I would recommend out of the Weller lineup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.